Hello, people. Uh, forget the face. Forget the face. All right. <laughs> Don't run off. Hola, aloha, ciao. Salut, ni ha, namaste, ohayu, yoga masama. Zda, suche, privita, buna, jindubri, siastok. Hello, sin ciao, yo vos, yo tere, salam alaikum, saskia ka, marhaban, merhaba. Welcome everyone, my name is Brunel. So this came out a couple of weeks ago and I thought this would be perfect for someone like me. This is the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, uh, which comes in four different shades for light skin. So you've got a Halo, which is white. You've got Illustrate, which is for fair skin. You've got uh, Create, which is for medium. And then you've got Etch, which is for deep skin tones. And basically it is a full coverage concealer, which comes with an innovative, not my, my words, there's innovative brush um which then you use as a base um to use for cut crease so you if you are like me rubbish at doing cut crease then uh, this <laughs> would help you out and it says either you're a beginner or even if you are a professional this will come in very very handy so i thought why not price is six pounds give this a try i am crap and um for want to a better description s h i t <laughs> At, um, yes, I am uh, doing cut creases. So I thought, why not? Help me out. I've got loads of lid space. I'd like to make full use of it. So, uh, by the way, if you see me blinking, <laughs> I've got a dodgy contact lens. Sorry about that. Um, so, um, the um, basically, the instructions are you use cut crease canvas to prime the lid, and it does say anything about the upper area, just the lid, um, to prime the lid um, using the applicator and uh, apply your transition shades and your outer corner shades and so on. And then uh, you then use the, the cut crease to apply it over your lid area to cut that. And then uh, last thing, you apply any kind of foil, eyeshadows, whatever you want to do on your lid. Uh, if you want something that's much more defined, it does say here, then you can use an angled brush. So um, that makes me a bit worried because uh, I'd like it to be more defined. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it out because I am rubbish rubbish at uh, applying my um, cap crease even though I've got lots of lid space now this is the packaging that it comes in like so just basically a uh, paper um, you've got this area here which displays the color so you know which color you're getting um, and in here in the bottom you get um, 4.5 mil or for you Americans out uh, there it is uh, 0.15 fluid ounces so that's that and it comes in this this is etch um, and I'm just going to open that and have a look. Okay, so you've got the brush and the applicator. It does look quite thick, actually, the, the, uh, um, the concealer. It doesn't look too, too bad at all. Uh, you've got the brush. I'm just wondering how flexible it is. Okay, it's a bit stiff, the brush. So hopefully that means you'll be able to get a smooth line. Um, just to warn you, on the, I did not touch my lid, but on the upper area, I use the NARS a soft my concealer. I use that all the time because this didn't say anything about it being able to use it at the top. Um, so I use that on really thin layer, and that's what I did. Um, that's what I normally use, I should say. And what I then did was I applied um, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose. And what I did was I, first of all, started with this shade here. You can see hit the pan with this. And I applied that at the very top all over and blended that in. And then combining these two shades, I then brought some warmth towards the top end. And then I used this brown, the dark brown, on the outer corner of the eye. So it's all set and ready for me to then apply the... <clears throat> cut crease canvas all righty so with that being said let me bring you a little bit closer uh, closer uh, forget my red eyes forget anything you see uh, just, just just ignore everything else all right just just concentrate on the crease thing <laughs> all right that's a bit close i think that's more than close enough i'm uh, getting a bit up close and personal with my dodgy eyes but that's your problem not mine <laughs> so anyway <laughs> i'm just kidding um right so mirror in place check getting there and i think i'm going to start off with a small amount just to see just in case it comes out with a whole host okay so that's the brush hopefully it's going to work we shall see um okay so i'm going to start off with this eye and why i've got why it's gone brown in the corner i've been it looks as if i've been crying but that's because my eyes have been never mind Okay, it's, it is super thick. So when you initially pull it out, be mindful. 
you only you don't even need to dip in oh this is really thick little bit too thick for me this is not smooth it's a bit jagged I don't like the fact that it is really jagged it's not smooth at all it really isn't If you want precision, this ain't going to provide it at all. Right, so hold on a moment. I'm just going to try and use a different brush to try and make things a bit smoother. And I might have to use, do you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to cheat. I know it's not what they recommended, but for me, yeah, I'm just going to take the product. Do you know what? Take the product and apply it, use the brush which is not what's recommended, honestly. To be fair, this is my more, more difficult eye, but now that I've started the process, I need this to work. So I'm adding product on the brush because my initial use of this brush sort of removed the product. Okay, so when the product first comes out, there's quite a lot. You might need to possibly take some off because it comes up with a lot of product and to be honest I find that uh, it's not necessarily that the brush is too stiff it's that the fact that the brush is unlike here where it's a lot smoother it's a little more, more jagged a little bit more jagged you don't get a smooth perfect line I can see why they said for precision use an angled brush um, because honestly you're gonna need if you want per, per, if you're used to perfect lines or you want a perfect line then you're gonna need you're gonna need a different brush. It, the brush itself, the applicator for me is not gonna cut it. It was okay if you want to use uh, the kind of like the, the main part of the lid, but you would need the um, a different brush to go over the edges and go over to for more precision. So I'm gonna quickly do this eye. Right, so we're just gonna apply the the gold. So it's not completely dry. probably taken about three or four minutes from when I first applied it so you have got a bit of time to play with all right you know what I'm I'm gonna <laughs> okay I'm gonna go and take this off because it's it's a mess and I'm not going out like this. Let's assume when I'm going to go into a makeup store to buy makeup, I, it's not happening. No. Okay. Right. So this for me is a fail. Okay. I'm just gonna tell it uh, how it is now. I'll take into account. I'm gonna try this again and hopefully it'll get better. Um, but for me, for now, it is as a first impression is a fail. The idea is that then the concept is a good idea. I think it is brilliant. I think it, to help people out who are confident in the doing the cat creases, it is brilliant, it will be f perfect for someone like me. Sometimes I've done it on a rare occasion, done a cat crease and it's worked out brilliant. Most of the time it's a fail, so this would have been brilliant for me. The color shade itself is not bad at all, actually, even even for someone my, as deep as a, so with a skin tone as I am. I think that actually works really well. I think the concept is, uh, is fantastic. Um, if you want to try this out, you can do so. It's only six pounds. I would say actually try and share out the product first because it, a lot of it does come off on the brush. Um, and what's happening is, um, is that although it kind of grabs hold, hold of the the, um, the, 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 the foil uh, eyeshadow, it, for me, it's kind of sort of emphasize all the creases in my line because obviously I've got big eyes that means more skin and it's really creased them all up and it's made them look really really messy and it's not smooth at all and also for me it's a fail because of the brush it's the applicator for me that's the biggest problem out of the whole lot the applicator ought to be I mean the the hair ought to be really nicely shaped perfectly aligned so that when you do apply it you get a smooth line at the end of it unfortunately for me or maybe it's just this brush but i don't know 
um, the, it's a bit jagged at the end. So when you are applying it, you're not getting a smooth, perfect line. You are having to go and use an, another brush to apply it, which for me, then it kind of, what's the point? I mean, if you're going to need a brush, you might as well get your normal concealer, use your normal brush and then do that rather than uh, trying to use this applicator with that doesn't quite work. I mean, it's great that you can get the product out and do most of your lid. And then when you get in a corner, you use a different brush. But for me, I think it would work a lot better if this applicator was a really nice, uh, smooth, has smooth hairs at the end of it so that you can actually do a nice line on your eyes. I think that would actually, if I'd had that, I would have said this would have been more, um, you know, more of a definite uh, or more of a yes. And it would have been just mean in a way that I apply it because I take that into account. But for me, the applicator is the biggest issue. So that is my personal opinion. Obviously, you are allowed to disagree. If you have found a better way of applying it, please let me know because obviously I've got this now and I'd like for it to work. Do help me out. Um, try if you've tried it yourself let me know how it went but it is a good concept and I would like to be able to do that but um but for this one at the moment it's a um, it's a no sorry <laughs> sorry I would have liked for it to work as usual I'll try and be as honest as I can it is the way it is sometimes things work for me sometimes they don't they don't work um but that's the way it goes thank you for watching and I'm going to clean my whole face out and sort my eyes out before I need to go out thank you and speak to you very soon Oh, 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 oh,